Ready? I'm ready. It's been a year since Hogwarts Legacy's release, but what can we expect for its sequel? Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to my channel, everyone. I'm the Global Cherry, and we're going to be discussing what's new for Hogwarts Legacy, as well as what we need in the updates and Hogwarts Legacy 2. Before we begin, subscribe, like the video, grab some butterbeer, and enjoy the show. I've been kidnapped! How can you be kidnapped when you're right here? Hogwarts Legacy launched on February 10th, 2023, and the love for this game spread just like the fire from Gareth's potions. Gareth, don't touch that. Nope. <laughs> Avalanche generated $1 billion in profit and sold about 24 million copies, making it a stupendous success. It's no wonder it became the best-selling game of the year. The attention to detail in every aspect of the game was simply spellbinding. The breathtaking creatures, Hogsmeade, the immersive classes, the forbidden forest, the room of requirement, and more. Yet here's the most important question. Will there be new Hogwarts Legacy content? Before the game's launch, Hogwarts Legacy's director Alan Tu mentioned that the Avalanche team was so occupied with preparing for launch that they didn't have any immediate plans for expansions post-release. However, according to Hogwarts Legacy's official Twitter, or X, they stated on January 26th that PlayStation exclusive content will be available on other platforms this summer, along with additional updates and features coming to the game. After finishing Hogwarts Legacy, I'm ready to huff more Slytherin copium together while we sit in a circle in a cozy dungeon. By PlayStation exclusive content, they were referring to the Haunted Hogsmeade quest where you go on an adventure to own a Haunted Hogsmeade shop. This quest is a must try as it turns your world upside down. Literally. This ghost possessed my camera, someone help. Just once, try seeing things from my point of view. As for new features and updates, there are no details on what they could be, but the team of Hogwarts Legacy informed everyone to stay tuned on what's coming to Hogwarts Legacy this year. Now let's talk about the features I'm hoping to see in the game this summer. The first feature that should be in Hogwarts Legacy is photo mode. It's a crime worth a sentence in Azkaban if we can't capture the beautiful sights of the wizarding world. Other features that I hope would be in the game would be New Game Plus, a battle arena to duel both your peers and dark wizards, more enemy variants, human-sized chess, and multiplayer mode like in Red Dead and GTA Online. Apart from single player mode, let's have an online mode where the students at Hogwarts are actual people playing the game. Speaking of which, according to David Zaslav, the CEO of Warner Brothers, future games may focus on live services, multi-platform accessibility, free-to-play extensions, and a release schedule spanning three to four years to drive engagements and monetization. With Hogwarts Legacy also on the lookout for a new game director, the possibility of DLC story expansions looms largely on the horizon, possibly in the summer. What about Hogwarts Legacy 2? While there hasn't been official confirmation, reputable insider My Time to Shine H suggests a sequel is indeed in the works. Hogwarts Legacy 2 could be an independent sequel game and would most likely be released in 2025 or 2026-ish rather than this year. What could we expect for Hogwarts Legacy 2? And what could this game be about? We began Hogwarts Legacy 1 as a fifth year uncovering the mysteries at Hogwarts, secrets of our ancient magic abilities, and resolving a goblin rebellion. <laughs> The game that delivered on the fantasy and dreams of Harry Potter may continue that story as we become a sixth or seventh year at Hogwarts, or maybe even ten years later. Perhaps we'll even hone our ancient magic powers in the sequel as we guard the secret the Keeper swore to protect or use the power for ourselves. We may even run into familiar characters from time to time. Perhaps a young Albus Dumbledore sorted into Hogwarts in 1892. He and Grindelwald wanted to overthrow the world at some point, so we could be seeing the dark side of Albus. The lead writer for Hogwarts Legacy said that the story was placed in a time period where no established characters of the Wizarding World franchise were around. 
making it possible to provide the player with their own unique Harry Potter-like world. Yet in the first game, they had characters with some connection to the movies, like Professor Weasley and Gareth. So why not add more characters in the second story that have a link to the Harry Potter movies? Or the developers may take another direction with the story by making us play as a student for another wizarding school. How about that school where students do excessive ballet moves? Aside from the story, here is what I hope they would add to Hogwarts Legacy 2. First of all, this was the one thing that we've all wanted before Hogwarts Legacy 1, Quidditch. Professor Black cancelled Quidditch in the game due to injuries students have had. Another reason was that he was a massive douche, but no matter. Perhaps his rule can be overruled in the second game, and the Hogwarts students can have their own Quidditch season again. A Slytherin student was using Imperio to avoid Professor Bin's class. But more specifically, uh, we will address the devastating effect it had on- Yes, sir. 7,000 points from Gryffindor. What? Broom races are great and all, but they just don't hit the same as actual Quidditch. And they could even add a feature in the game counting points the characters had accumulated for the House Cup, like they did with the mobile game. I love the entire wizarding world within Hogwarts Legacy, but I wish there was more to do within Hogwarts rather than the Merlin trials outside. I can never have enough Mallow Sweet Leaves for them either. Another interesting feature that should be in Hogwarts Legacy 2 is the ability to visit other common rooms or at least have missions to sneak in the rooms. We had to sneak into locked rooms to ease Gladwin Moon's fear of demiguises, so I don't see why we can't find a way into the common rooms as well. We also have majestic mounts in the game, so the devs could enable us to cast spells as we're mounted on our creatures, the grab horn and our hippogriff high wing. As Hogwarts Legacy 2 would be built upon Hogwarts Legacy 1, in terms of combat and game systems, I would expect the map to be much bigger. Perhaps it'll include more well-known Harry Potter locations like the Ministry of Magic, adding dimension to the wizarding world. After the main story, it appears the Ministry of Magic was opening positions to students at the School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, so it would make sense to add it to the second game. Diagon Alley would be another iconic location to use, as it was a main hub for witches and wizards to obtain supplies for schools and businesses. Most importantly, the devs should add the significant of choices in Hogwarts Legacy 2 by establishing a morality system. I abuse the use of the three unforgivable curses a lot, and it surprises me that my character can still get away with it. Mashing the Avada Kedavra button is second nature to me, and this is considering our actions were no different than the Dark Wizards. However, my thoughts during this game was that an elaborate system was already incorporated, but the devs removed it. If they add it in 2, it shows that our choices for the dark path have consequences and outcomes. Our actions could possibly instill fear in our peers and force us against each other. Or the mentors could hunt us down in a bounty-like system and attempt to get us thrown into Azkaban for using the unforgivable curses leading to the game over. It's a perfect location to use for this purpose and to encase those who chose Hufflepuff. Kidding. Maybe. Overall, I think there are exciting plans in store for Hogwarts Legacy with bigger surroundings, new characters, new spells, and more. I heard it's going to be on Unreal Engine 5, so the graphics will be even more insane. So what are your opinions on the updates for Hogwarts Legacy? And what more would you like to see in this game or the second game? And what is your favorite spell to use within Hogwarts Legacy? That is all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and comment your thoughts below. Thank you for watching, and that's all.